First, so breaking here at three, a man is found guilty of killing his girlfriend and her mother right in front of his children. Thanks for joining us here. I'm Nicole Gabe. And I'm Lois Tomey in for Russ McCaskey. Wink News reporter Maddie Heron is live at the Lee County Courthouse. And Maddie, this family must be going through some pain. Yeah, it's been a long day, a long three years, in fact. Yes, they think it's good that a jury convicted 33-year-old Ethan Cartwright of both killings, but that won't bring their loved ones back. Cartwright sat stone-faced, showed no emotion as he heard the clerk say he's guilty of second-degree murder of Jean-Pierre Charles Andre and Anne Fleury. Emotions ran high during today's closing arguments. I want to take you back to when the prosecution played a chilling recording for the jury from the day of the murders. The screams and gunshots from their home in San Carlos Park, their final moments echoing through the courtroom. He chases the mother of his children out of the house as she runs. She's running, screaming for help. Call 911, call 911, and he shoots her, and he shoots her, and he shoots her, and he shoots her. Moments later, as the jury began its deliberations, I spoke to Ann Fleury's father, Remy. He told me a guilty verdict in his daughter's murder does not mean justice has been served. Flurry knows how Cartwright killed his only child, but what he can't understand is why. New at five, what a guilty verdict means for Ethan Cartwright and what his prison sentence could look like. Live in the Lee County Courthouse, Maddie Heron, Wink News.